What's up, beautiful besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you so very much for being here with me. Y'all are freaking incredible. I'm actually going to do a quick reading here for Cancer. Now, I know I don't usually go through all the zodiac signs, but I was called to do a reading for Cancer. So I'm going to do that because, yeah, I'm going to do what I'm told. So here we go for Cancer. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Okay, um, let's see what's going on for cancer in their love life. I forgot to mention it was love specific that I was called to do for our beautiful cancers out there, okay? Um, yeah, even if you're a Cancer Cross Watcher, if you were drawn into this reading, um, you're here for a reason. Um, and I just want to welcome you to um, our tribe. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here for Cancer, please? What's going on here for Cancer? We have talking. Okay. I have interested, conversing more, awaiting mess awaited message arrives, a text call, email, or even hoovering. Okay. So someone's really wanting to talk to you right now, Cancer. Let's see what else is coming up here. We have the sword and the rose. Getting clarity, truth, a revelation. Okay, so somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to come here and tell you the truth. Uh, what do we have here? We have self-indulgence. Focusing on the self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, and wedding rings. Wow. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, and ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay, listen, there is someone here, and then underneath that, we have addiction. Okay, so codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Look, somebody who has been suffering, okay, maybe through some type of addiction or, again, a codependent kind of um, energy. Maybe they've been obsessed. I don't know what is going on. Maybe they are a very controlling person, but in the past... I have to tell you, this person who wants to reach out and speak to you has gained some clarity. They have been working on themselves, okay, focusing on their self-work, time, taking time to heal, um, doing some shadow work, appreciating themselves, um, and it looks like they have been doing some ascending here, uh, transcending obstacles, you know, learning, expansion, growth, preparing for union, and really wanting to um, come towards you and talk about what has been uh, going on okay and, and where they've been and what they've been working on this person wants to give you the truth and give you some clarity so let's continue on with this and I will grab some tarot to clarify for you my lovelies let's see okay spirit can we get um, an idea of who this could be who wants to come towards cancer and and really reveal where they've been and what they've been working on Oh my gosh, four of wands coming up right away here. Um, <laughs> not surprising because we have this wedding ring energy and the ascending and the union and all of these things. This person um, definitely is somebody that you once thought uh, you would probably spend the rest of your life with, or at least this could be somebody that you already have lived with or already had a stable commitment with. Um, this is somebody here who is wanting to uh, come back together with you. Okay. Um, I can see that very clearly with the four of wands. Let me get something else here. Again, you may have already lived with this person or had a connection and it would have come to some kind of end, some kind of close. Yeah. In a very, in a very sudden way, there was a separation here. Okay. And it came through very suddenly and it did cause a lot of grief and a lot of heartache, not only over losing the, that person. Okay. But in the sense of like losing a dream or what you thought was going to happen with this person, right? Again, you may have thought this was going to be something that lasted and then it didn't and something happened out of nowhere. So please tell me what the tower represents. What was the tower here? And I'm just trying to get clarity so that you can know whether or not this message is for you. So what happened here, Spirit? What was this tower? Judgment. Okay. King of Swords. The King of Swords represents um, the air signs. Yeah, I'm 
just going to place it in a line actually. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now they don't have to be. They could have it somewhere strong in their chart or maybe you have it somewhere strong in your chart too. But I'm getting um, masculine energy uh, with the air signs. This person was very much in their head. Something may have happened to them to rock their world. Now, whether that be at work or with a goal within the family, um, some kind of family issue came up for this individual. Um, and it caused them to just, it caused them to end the relationship. Hold on. Why? But I want to know why. Why did it end the relationship? What, what was it? Fear, doubt. Secrets. Look, this person had some family secrets or something that was about to be revealed, some kind of something that they did not share with you, um, something that they have been really struggling through, some kind of family drama. I'm getting here. Hold on one second. We have the Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Oh my gosh. This is giving like the sun underneath this and the five of pentacles look cancer um i don't know if you uh, this is going to be very specific and again not for everyone so if it's not your reading please don't try to force it to make it fit look um someone came back from this person's past now this could have been um someone that they were once connected to someone they were probably married to at one point in time i am getting that it would would have been like an ex or someone again <sighs> this person may have been married and you didn't know it. All right. There is a secret that they kept that they were still involved with somebody from their past. Okay. And this is what, um, this is what came to light. And this is what would have, um, broken the two of you up. Okay. I'm going to say that because here with the addiction, there was a codependent energy underneath that. I'm picking up, look at the snake. Competition, enemy, someone's clever, malicious, looking over their shoulder, the other woman, okay? Now it could be the other man. I feel like this person was in a codependent relationship with somebody who they fought a lot with in the past, and I feel like they kept that very much secret from you because you made them happy, Cancer. Um, I do feel like you were like a breath of fresh air for this person, and they really did have this... Um, idea here that you would come in and kind of like it, it feels like they were almost using you as an escape but I don't want to say using you I do feel like this person uh really did feel very connected to you but you didn't know the whole story with this person when the two of you started in the past okay because what I'm getting here is this person is wanting to come through and tell you the truth right why they stepped away what they were dealing with they were dealing with some family drama it could have been uh divorce proceedings or it could have been some kind of um, splitting of the uh, assets or the money, something came up here that they were very doubtful that they were going to be able to win out on. They were trying to keep not only this ex person a secret from you, but they also were trying to keep you a secret from the ex person. Does that make sense to you? If it does, we're going to continue on. Okay. Again, not for everyone, not everyone's story, but for those of you who are still here with me, um, they were really trying to avoid any kind of drama with you. And so they just kind of cut the cord. You know, um, they did not really give you too much of an explanation. Okay. Uh, and you would not have known any of the details here. Okay. I feel like it's really unfair to you, Cancer, because you thought things were going well. Um, and you thought you didn't really see any of this coming. Okay. Um, this would have most likely hardened your heart towards this individual because you didn't get an explanation because it happened out of nowhere because they didn't talk to you. Maybe they remained silent. They weren't, they weren't giving you anything. Okay. And, um, even though this connection felt extremely faded and extremely, uh, like a destined type of connection, and there was a really deep bond between the two of you, they just up and disappeared. This is giving somebody ghosting, somebody just moving out, somebody not explaining themselves. Okay. And just kind of disappearing. Right. Now they had all of this family drama, let's just say, um, to work out behind the scenes. And again, I feel like they felt very much obligated or there was some kind of tie, like money or finances or legalities or something going on with this person that they kept secret from you, okay? Not a very good 
way to begin a relationship with someone is to be have these secrets and and kind of like let's be honest secrets and lies right so um i do feel like in rather than bringing all of this up to light because the relationship would have been maybe a little bit fresh or there were still the feelings of um you know, that newer phase in a relationship, okay, where things seem to be going very well, okay? The honeymoon phase is what they call it. They did not want to sully the energy between the two of you. They just kind of pulled away, pulled back, but they did sully the energy because they didn't give you an explanation. Okay, Cancer, that's what happened. Um, now we have this person. Um, let's fast forward a little bit down the timeline here because now we have this person saying that they want to reach out, they want to talk, okay? They want to give you some kind of truth. They want to tell you the truth. They want to tell you what has been happening. So let's get the tea. <laughs> Cancer, let's get the tea. What has happened um, in in the time since this person has basically disappeared from your life? What has happened with them? Well, we have the Eight of Wands, which is really just talking about them wanting to reach out and communicate. So what has happened? Ten of Swords. Well, they've definitely put an end to the situation. They've come. It was really difficult. It was very um, challenging for them. But let's see. It is finally over. Okay, this is what Spirit's giving me. Not a lot of details. It's finally over. I feel like they were, again, feeling obligated, feeling trapped. Oh, so much worry, so much panic, so much anxiety. And it would have been, yeah, a third party type of situation. But look at that death. It, it's over. It is over. I'm not getting a lot of details about what went down, but I will tell you something that this person has indeed put an end um, to this codependent type of relationship or that hidden person that they had kind of in the in the wings, you know, and I don't I really am not getting the feeling that they were interested in pursuing um, a connection with this person. I'm getting that it was somebody they were trying to get away from someone they were trying to break free from. Um, and again, a lot of the drama would have happened prior to the two of you even getting together or meeting one another. Um, they felt very much trapped. They felt very much stuck in a situation, but they have had some forward momentum. They've had some movement. They have been able to get themselves out of it. Okay. Um, and they want to come through to you and tell you the truth about what exactly happened. Because now in hindsight, looking back, you know, their original intention was like, okay, well, I don't really want to bring this drama into this fresh relationship. I don't really want to tell them what's been going on. I don't want the ex person to find out about you because I mean, you will be involved in drama. Maybe they would have reached out. Maybe they would have harassed you. I mean, they would have tried to drag your name into this huge mess. They did this person you were dealing with cancer did not want you involved in the mess. Okay. They didn't want you involved in the mess. But now looking back in hindsight, they're like, okay, well, I've pretty much made a mess of this relationship with cancer anyway. I might as well come forward and speak the truth because I have not been able to forget about cancer. I haven't been able to, you know, I really want to see if we can try again. I'm now completely free and clear. I don't have this. I've taken care of business basically is what it is here. I've taken care of business. This person is now completely out of my life and I want to come through and I want to tell you what happened and where I went. Okay, so I'm just going to clear this energy out and we're going to start from there. Cancer, hold on. Okay, Cancer, let's go in and I'm going to use my own deck and I'm going to see what this person wants to say to you. Okay, what does this person want to say to you? What, what are they going to say? Let's just start with that. You're the only one who really gets me. Okay, they've definitely been missing you, missing conversations with you. Um, they feel that you get them on an authentic level. Okay, um, yeah, you're the only one who really gets me. And it's unfortunate that they did not really reveal their whole true self to you. From the beginning, I didn't believe you could love me. Oh, that's why they didn't believe that you could love them. Okay, when someone is in a codependent type of relationship, they often get worn down their self esteem, their self worth, they feel like they lose themselves um, in these types of relationships. And they can be very addictive, okay, and very hard to walk away from, and very hard to heal from. So with self indulgence, you know, focusing on the self self worth, time to heal shadow work, self appreciation, I do feel like this person has gone through not only have they ended it with that other person, and even though it was very 
difficult for them and it may have been rife with like lies and betrayals and all kinds of like just a mess okay is what I'm getting here cancer it was a mess and I feel like you should be glad that you know not glad that they lied or they weren't honest with you but glad that you weren't involved in any of that because I feel like you dodged a bullet okay but you know they also are saying they didn't believe that you could love them okay um as they were they knew that you required more that you deserved more um, they did not feel worthy uh, or they didn't feel ready to give you the love that you deserve okay and they knew that they needed to heal okay before they, they could come back to you with some kind of you know true commitment all right because they know that you deserved better than this more than this um so what else are they going to say here i will never come back okay no this is not about you, Cancer. I feel like that I will never come back. That is the energy of that other person. They will never come back. They are never um, going to be um, connected to that person again. What's done is done. We have the death energy. We have the Ten of Swords. This is like they made it so that person will never come back. They will never bother them again. It will. It, it's over. It's completely done with that other person. Okay, and they will never go back to that. They will never go back to that. And I care too much about what people think of me. Um, that's interesting that that comes up. Hold on one second. I want one more on this. I care too much about what I'm healing from a broken heart. Yeah, I'm healing from a broken heart. We also have I need you in my world underneath that. Okay, so um, yeah, I care too much about what people think of me. I feel like for a very long time they did um, care about what... I feel like this is like a divorce type of situation. I got to be honest with you. And I feel like they hid the fact that they were even once married uh, from you. Um, and they did maybe even hide this relationship from their close friends and family members because they didn't, they were very, um, I feel like their life, their life with the codependent relationship was very much intertwined with friends and family and, you know, peer groups, whatever, work, work, whatever, colleagues. Um and I feel like introducing you to them would just cause so much, right? Is I don't, I don't, I'm not getting that you were like the other person or like an affair within the relationship because they were broken off. It was a separation that they had with the other person, but that other person was very much tied into their life. Okay, so uh, it had to come to a point where they, had, everybody had to know that they. The two of those people were separated, okay? And I feel like they really needed that time and space to heal and to um, repair themselves, okay? Um, and to really just stop caring about what other people thought about them moving on, all right? So that's what I'm getting because here we have, you know, I need you in my world. Look at even underneath that, I'm longing for you. This person hasn't been able to forget you, Okay, this person hasn't been able to forget you and I feel like you have been this like ray of sunshine or beacon of hope for this individual. Okay, so that's what they're going to say. Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> maybe this is just kind of preparing you for what's coming next here, Cancer. Let's see um, what would happen if you were to give them a chance here, Cancer. What would happen if you were to hear this person out? What were to happen if you were to hear this person out? Okay. What would, what would happen if you were to hear, hear this person out? Look at that. It can go one of two ways. Oh my gosh. I mean, we have so many people tuning in that I don't really know. Like, I don't know who you are. I don't know the specifics of your situation. But look at this. It can go one of two ways. And look at where the deck split here. <laughs> either, look at this. Either you flat out reject them and say, no, thank you. I'm no longer interested. You missed your opportunity. I've already turned my back and walked away from the situation. I'm no longer willing to invest in this because it was hurtful. Like I said, you may have turned, when a cancer turns off their emotions for someone, and it, for, it takes a lot, first of all, but when a cancer walks away, they effing walk away, okay? So if you're a cancer here tuning in and you have already checked out emotionally from this relationship, there is no rekindling. Okay. And I know, you know, we're pegged. I'm a cancer too. So I know we're pegged as these people that give multiple chances and we're so emotional and all the things and empathic we are. But once you, once you push a cancer to that point, it's like, boom, the claws come out. Mm -mm, it's over. We can cut like nobody's business, right? We can turn off those beautiful emotions that we have. <laughs> so it's either that, either this person's already cut from your world 
or you are going to be willing to work on it and, and get back to business. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles, you may still feel very much connected to this person. Now, if that's the case for you, I will go ahead and take this over to an extended where we look at what they're, what they're thinking of currently, what they're feeling, how have they changed, um, what would it really look like if you were to say yes, can you trust them, okay, more about what they want to say to you, more direct messages in that way, and if you need to watch out for anything or if you need any, you know, warnings or anything like that. So I will take it over to the extended. I'll drop a little preview for those of you who are interested. Um, but it's really going to be up to the specific person tuning into this reading, right? So if you're interested, um, there will be more for you there. If not, let's leave you with a love oracle. Okay. And I appreciate your energy exchange. Either way, being here, like I said, you're so welcome to join our tribe. Um, I probably will do more readings for cancer. It's something that I've been called to do quite a bit lately, but I just didn't want to make the other signs feel left out, you know, um, because I'm not so called to do any other signs at the moment. Okay. Oh, uh, I might be one of those channels that does just collective readings, um, for our good vibe tribe and also readings for cancer. So, you know, that's just, yeah, what it is. Perhaps we'll see. We'll see. So hopefully any of my OG tribe members aren't getting uh, their panties in a bunch here. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm just, I'm called to read for cancer. Anyways, loves, um, I'm glad that you're here with me. Let's get your love oracle and then we will move on to the extended. You got three. Okay, so here we have friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So Perhaps uh, when they come back with this explanation, you don't have to commit to them right away. You can say, okay, well, let's just start at the basis of being friends again. Okay, you can, you can do that. Uh, we have romance, Cupid's arrow strike. So I feel like a lot of you do still have romantic feelings for, for this person, even though it left you with a lot of confusion. And then here we have new beginning. So a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, my loves, I am sending you... All the love. I hope to see you in the extended. If not, um, I hope to just see you on the next reading. Take care and sending love. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to the extended. Thank you so very much for your energy exchange. Let's just jump right into it. Let's see what kind of energy this person's going to be in when they come to you with this explanation of why they just disappeared or where they went and what was going on with them. Um, what energy will they be in towards you and this relationship? Okay, I feel like this one wants to come up. We have soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect, so trust the process. This person really feels connected with you on a soul level. It could be a soulmate or even a twin flame for some of you. Um, let's see what else we have. Connection, yeah. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. This person really misses you. There isn't anyone out there like you, Cancer, okay? And I know that y'all have a very deep soul connection. We also have dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. We also have power. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. So they are very much drawn back to you, Cancer. I feel like they never really stop thinking about you. They never stop loving you. They just had this series of unfortunate events, things that they really had to close out before they could truly come through and um, I, I, I suppose commit to this relationship with 100% and no drama, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get into it. What are their thoughts and feelings here for you? Let's see what's going on. What are their current thoughts towards you, Cancer? How are they, what are they thinking when it comes to you and this connection? Um, we obviously have, they feel very much connected to you on a soul level, but what are they thinking about, Cancer? What do they think about you, Cancer? Oh, we have the devil. That's obsession. <laughs> that is definitely obsession with who's that? Cancer. Okay. She said she don't kill me. Fight to the card of death. She said she don't love me. Fight to the card that wasn't in the deck. The card my finger touched. Think I got my wish. You know, for sure, when it's all done, she said she was beautiful. 